what is the difference between your spo2 and po2 level okay you are monitoring spo2 levels regularly in the monitor you call it saturation hai and you are also measuring the abg uh, po2 level so what is the difference between if we are seeing everything on the monitor spo2 level what is the need for calculating the po2 level in the blood so you use the term saturation saturation what we are using so oxygen travels in the blood vessel in two forms one is your rbcs in which hemoglobin is there okay and another one is the dissolved po2 so one way of oxygen travels by binding hemoglobin and another form of oxygen uh, travels getting dissolved in the plasma so the pulse oximeter which you are measuring on the monitor is this saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen how much amount of hemoglobin is being saturated with oxygen that is you, uh, your pulse oximeter is showing and this po2 which you are measuring in the abg is the dissolved oxygen which is there in the plasma got my point hemoglobin can carry four oxygen molecules if it is 20 one oxygen molecule is there 25 percent saturated two oxygen are there then 50 percent saturated three oxygen are there 75 percent saturated four oxygen molecules attached with hemoglobin then uh, 100 percent saturated so it is the average of all the homeoglobin concentration which is get which is which is being saturated with oxygen that is being picked up by pulse oximeter got my point this point is very yes, clear yes, yes. so in abg we are seeing the dissolved plasma po2 and in uh, pulse oximeter we are see, uh, seeing the oxygen which is which has saturated the hemoglobin so why we need to measure two except we can, we can uh, uh, work with any one of them now what is the relation between two then here comes your sigmoid curve oxygen dissociation curve oxidation dissociation curve you have seen it is like a sigmoid like this okay till your saturation in uh, means spo2 is around 90 your po2 in the blood will be definitely above 60 percent if your saturation in the blood on monitor is above 90 your po2 level in the blood will be above 60 but when your spo2 level falls below 90 the po2 level drastically falls in the blood this has a steep fall that's why to it is required to maintain the spo2 level above 90 in every patient who is in the icu other than copd patients you need to maintain this much of saturation if the spo2 is less than 90 percent there will be a drastic fall in the po2 in the blood that's why always try to keep spo2 targets above 90 even even in ards we say spo2 of 88 percent or po2 of more than 52 percent you should maintain in the blood got my point difference between spo2 and po2 clear